Hi, my name is Shrikant Nurani and I'm with CA Technologies. Today, I'm going to be showing you a quick demo of APM and some of its features and capabilities. And as part of that, I'll be walking you through a use case where the customer is monitoring the business critical application called TextChange, consisting of multiple JVMs, Node.js, and other application components deployed across various VMs and Docker containers. And as part of the use case, the customer will be upgrading the production system based on the Canary deployment model where production system is upgraded in an incremental fashion and the deployment suffers from performance issue and how CA APM allows the customer to isolate the issue and focus on the problem area and thereby reducing the mean time to resolution. This is our demo environment and we are looking at dashboard view. This particular view, it is extremely important and useful for level one per ops person or somebody who either are not an application expert or not interested in the detailed application map view. Because for example, say they are managing 50 other applications or have multiple tools. This view hides complexity and provides enough detail for them to determine if there are issues in the application, and if yes, then what components are impacted. Now, in this view, I've set business context perspective. Now, think of perspective as playlist, where you are able to group songs into different categories. In the business context perspective, I've organized the data into key business transactions, client location, and by criticality of the application components. This perspective is extremely important from application owner's point. It allows them to determine how various business transactions and critical applications are behaving. Before we get started on use case related to Canary deployment, let's switch over to a release view perspective. In this perspective, we are showing business transaction, build number, and host name. As we can see, the production is on release 10.1, update one, and it's deployed on two VMs, Win 2008 R2 and Win 2008 R2 VM2. Let's switch over to Jenkins and kick off our production deployment. All right, so I'm going to be deploying a new build on certain VMs. I should see build 43, there you go. Let's look at the detail and a new deployment is happening as you can see. And we know that certain VMs are being upgraded to 10.1 build 2. Let's switch over to APM team center view. That's our new build that's deployed on the production environment. We should soon see performance problem hitting the new build. All right, we can see that some of our alerts are going off. And if Pete was a level one support person looking at the dashboard view on the console, right from here, he can ascertain certain facts. Number one, there are certain business transactions that are impacted. The performance impact seems to be mainly on the new build, which is 10.1 update two. It seems to be contained on VM1. Pete can also select a particular tile and go into the details of that particular application component. He can see that the average response time seemed to have gone up just recently. And this particular application component is deployed on VM1. And there's a support wiki where you can get additional information. It's on-prem and it's got the latest 10.1 update to build. We also see that our differential analysis, the behavior learning engine, has also picked up the anomaly. Now Pete wants to hand this off to level two person. So all Pete needs to do is select one of the tiles and go into the attribute detail pane and click the link provided for L2 support. So that should open up an email with all the relevant information along with an in-context link that can be sent to level two. Let's assume Ryan, our level two production support analyst, gets the email and clicks on the link 
is presented with this particular view. Looking at the dashboard view, Ryan understands that the performance impact is restricted to certain business transaction. It's impacting the latest update and it's uh, impacting only certain VMs. Ryan wants to know how and when this performance issue started in the environment. He leverages CAAPM's timeline view. He clicks on time range and takes the slider back and he can see that with the attribute change right around this time, the application started experiencing performance issue. He selects the attribute change event and selects the tile that got highlighted to get additional information. He scrolls down the attribute detail pane to see what the attribute change was. And you can see that at this time, the application was upgraded from 10.1 update one to 10.1 update two. Ryan is pretty certain that the most likely cause of this particular issue is because of the upgrade to the production environment. Now Ryan wants to understand what exactly is the cause of this performance issue in the new build. So he leverages the drill down capability. So he clicks on the link on the business transaction tile. This will take him to the map view with the filter being set for that particular business transaction. And he can see that it traveled through different Java component all the way to the back end. He selects the rightmost component to get the details on the attribute detail pane. He scrolls down and you can see that the average response time has gone up and that particular component was upgraded from update one to update two. He also knows that this is a Node.js component and deployed on East data center. There is a support wiki for additional information and the owner is also provided. Ryan has all the information on his fingertip. To get to the bottom of this particular issue, Ryan clicks on the, the metric link that is provided in the attribute detail pane and that takes him to the expert view, the web view, and Ryan looks at all the traces or additional information that was collected during the time period. He selects one of the transaction traces and gets to the transaction trace view. Ryan can immediately see the flow of the business transaction. The information came into the business segment. It went to another JVM and from there it went to a node component, which is Node.js. Ryan opens up the transaction component for node gateway services. He selects a particular component and looks at the app component detail pane. Scrolls down and he knows that majority of the time, which is about four seconds, was spent on the method dispatch. Ryan takes this information and gives it to the developer for them to investigate and fix the issue. This concludes our demo. We have demonstrated that CAAPM's perspective allows data to be organized in a manner that is relevant we also showed that the dashboard view hides the complexity and allows level one to focus on the bigger picture and at the same time provides all the necessary details for them to take action on. With attribute detail pane, the information is always a fingertip. The new drill down capability allows experts like Ryan to go into the detail view without losing the context and get to the root cause quickly. CAAPM, you're able to protect your expert and at the same time, reduce mean time to resolution. Thanks for watching.